Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Today's video is a request from one of my subscribers from my Kmart haul. So this is a follow up for that member and for everybody else as well. Um, so I got a few items that came out to do up my um, craft trolley. So today I'm going to show you all what I have done. Just one moment. Okay, so this is it here. a quick overview and then we'll just go through what I've done. So obviously first I put the trolley together and then some of the containers I had some um, were from the hall and some um, yeah some were just floating around and stuff too. So we'll start from the top I guess. So with all my craft bits and pieces, um, they were just like everywhere and my room was exploding with stuff and I could not find anything. So I did this trolley idea. Uh, one thing you'll notice as I run through it is that you won't see any scrapbooking paper that's in a different location and you won't see my massive amount of washi tape that is also stored differently as well as my planning stickers and my craft stickers such as alphabet stickers and um, decorative stickers etc. Um, if you want to see how I organise all that and where it is <laughs> uh, then let me know. So this, um, what would you call it, this storage item is made up of four um, like buckets joined together. This I bought at Kmart in my haul video and what I've done is in this section here I put my brush pens um, for brush lettering. I recently started to teach myself and get really, really good at brush lettering. So that's where those live. And then in this one here, I've got my rulers, my hole punch, uh, my scissors are meant to be in there. I'll just grab them. <laughs> I've been crafting, so yeah. Um, you get the idea. Scissors, um, glue tapes, glue dots, glue sticks, that kind of thing. And then in this one here are two sets of coloured pens. These ones are fine liners and these ones are oil based pens. Um, and then in this one here are all my Sharpie pens. So that's that part. Now this uh, box I had to go and buy today actually because um, I ran out of space and the some of the baskets I got didn't fit and so forth. So I went in today and got one of these. It's actually a makeup box. Um, so it has like six separate compartments and the lid just comes off like that. And then you've got your my top section here which has um, some charms in there for making things. Some um, little bits and pieces like so and some flowers. And then that bit just comes off like so. And I'll just put it down so I don't drop everything. And then on the bottom bit I have um, some bows, some like ruffles and things like that. And then some with like jewels on them as well. And there's some tiny ones there. 
as well. So that's what I've got in there. Just carefully put it back. I don't want to spill everything. So that's the top shelf. I'll go to the side here next. Um, what I've done is I've got one of these hooks um, from a di different shop. It was from a cheap shop. And I've put on this basket here that I got in my haul. And in here I've got my glue gun and my glue gun sticks. Um, just so it's like easy to pull out and then on the middle shelf in this box here is like a little wooden icons and letters then that container I already had and this container I already had but in a different area um, but I emptied it the other day and thought it would be perfect for my sequins so I've just got miscellaneous ones in the first two Christmas ones and then Easter ones I couldn't believe how many sequins I had and then this box here I found I'm just going to pause while I get it out yeah, sorry about that. So this box here I found at one of my cheap shop shops. Um, it just opens at the top like so. Um, it's called a photo container. It has all these little rectangled containers. So what I've done is I put um, all my different die cuts. So um, those ones are from AliExpress. Aldi ones. Um, this one's just miscellaneous everything. Um, these are holographic and rose gold ones. And then I've got journaling cards like on the other side as well. These are um, the twine and twig collection. And then the last one is my Christmas stuff. So yeah, I just um, thought it was a really awesome idea to organise all of that instead of having it mumble jumble everywhere. So that all goes on the second shelf. Um, then we have... I'll just put all that back actually, sorry. Okay, okay. So on my bottom shelf, as you can see, I've got three containers. The back one is ribbons. Um, some of them you can see that I've thread through, they're the ones that have been open. Um, I saw this idea on Pinterest and I really, really loved it, so that's how I'm going to do my ribbons. The front one is twines and then I've got like a clear twine in there as well. And then this basket here is just full of a variety of stuff. Um, from like foam stickers, really big embellishments, Easter stickers, extra ribbon, doilies, that kind of thing, um, tassels, easy ribbons, some, um, Decorations, some straws, um, bits of like coloured wire, paper clips, tassels, huge paper clips, um, mini packs, bags, and a, um, and some acetate words, which I haven't taken out the packet yet. So yeah. Just, yeah, bits and pieces like that live in there. So, yeah, that is my craft trolley from the bottom to the middle, top, 
inside. And yeah, as I said, I've got my scrapbooking papers in a separate set, um, in a different location. There's a whole heap of them. <laughs> and my washi tapes are all in a different section, as well as my planning and all my craft stickers as well. So if you want me to film that, just let me know. I'll leave a comment below if you do. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my craft trolley. Um, it's the cheap way of doing it. Because <laughs> um, I didn't want to spend a fortune at like Spotlight or Ikea or anything. And it, it works really, really well. I'm happy with it. Um, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you all in my next video.